Good evening, guys. Um, I was going to put out a brief video tonight uh, about direction. Of course, prayer being your biggest direction. But he said he'd be a lamp into our feet, a light into our path. But anyhow, this is a combination of a dream and just birthed in prayer. My stuff is always birthed in prayer, guys. Do I get it right all the time? No. Most of the time, yes. So when I get an error, I gotta change it and fix it, correct it, turn, whatever, just like you do. So this was this was the dream. And in this dream, and it, and it, and I prayed about it too afterwards, and the Lord just kept adding to it. So it's kind of mixed. Because I got some in prayer and I got some in the dream. But in this dream, I saw this uh, uh, this ocean. And it was just, you know, like you see in the ocean. When you're out in the ocean, you can't see the, the horizon. That's we're nothing but water. Many, many of y'all that have been on, on the ocean or on a cruise or whatever <clears throat> know what I'm talking about. Most of us do. Or you see pictures of it. So you couldn't see any land. Then off in the horizon, I saw a small island. And on an island was a cross that was lit. And a light just brilliantly shined forth as it was getting to be dusk on the ocean. And then I saw Jesus kneeling before the cross, but he was kneeling, looking out towards towards us. We were on the ocean. I was. He was motioning us to come to him, but it was far off, and you couldn't. You almost had to like be looking past the horizon. You couldn't see it because it was past the horizon, but yet you could. I could see it in this dream because the the, the that was a you know. A, a little bit above, it's hard to explain, but you could see past the horizon. And so, then he spoke, and then I got a prayer too, and I asked him some questions about it. But he was saying, giving us direction to come to him. And in this direction, he said, stay in the 100th parallel. And I thought, okay. And then you arrived at your destination. But the enemy is distracting us and telling us, oh yeah, you need to stay in the 100th parallel, but you can do the 100.00.5. Just a little bit off. You know what happens? When you travel that distance, when you make this journey in life, when you deviate even just a little bit from God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, His Word, their direction, and you travel that distance of time, whether it's physical distance or just time, time of life, your journey, you miss it so far off, you never even saw it. You bypassed it, you went around it. And I was thinking just a little bit, how that, just that little bit can make us miss Jesus. That's probably why I got this shirt on too, honestly. Um, statement. But the, um, not an attitude, just a statement. <clears throat> so, I thought about that, and then I prayed about that. That was the next day after I woke up, and I was praying about it. I said, Lord, I said, you know, just that little bit, and why the 100th parallel? I still haven't got the whole answer in the 100th parallel. Maybe some of y'all might know the significance of that. For some reason, I, I don't. I'm okay with that. But I know it was a direction. <clears throat> Is what I'm going with. And the direction will be prayer. Get that prayer.
you get that communication with the Lord. And so that little bit, the enemy wants to just be distracted just a little bit. If he can't get you all the way distracted, just a little bit. You go to church, you do this, you do that. But just that little bit. Too much on Facebook, too much social media, too angry at your wife, too, too, who knows? You know, maybe fudge a little bit on your taxes, whatever, you know. Could be any number of things. <clears throat> so, I am going to tell a story about the direction and then end with that. But so let, let's go back to this a little bit. So, the little foxes spoil the vine. A little leaven, leaven of the whole lump, purge. It's in, I think, look it up. It's, I think it's Corinthians. Three and five, or one and five, something like that. Um, I just looked it up a minute ago, but the um, that little bit. It's like a cook when they're cooking, you know. It calls for a tablespoon of salt or whatever, a teaspoon of salt. You put a tablespoon when you ruin it. Just a little bit. It doesn't take much if you go over the directions. You just miss it by a little bit. You'll never, you throw it out. You, you can't eat it. Nobody wants it. Not even your dog, you know? So, <clears throat> that little bit, guys. And what I'm saying is, there's so many distractions right now and deviations and things that can distract us. This is in the natural. You know, but right now they're the whole world's going crazy. Follow the signs, follow the directions, follow the, you know, all this mess. You know what I'm talking about. It's all about control, guys. The mask and everything else. I pray for people all the time. I don't want anybody sick. I don't want to get sick. But come on. You know where it's headed, but it's just a distraction. Then it's all these different CRT, whatever theories, and just different things. I mean, it, they, it, they pull somebody up out of the woodwork, you don't even know who they are, and all so-and-so said, okay, man, come on, guys. It's to distract us from the time and season that we're in. Oh, he's coming, and soon. Maybe before a lifetime, maybe today, before this message even gets out, maybe in 10 years. I don't know, guys. And neither do you. But you can see, because you can feel it in your spirit. It's coming soon. Bride. So let's not get distracted. Let's get rid of that little bit. You know, the uh, Moses, is, you know, under the Mosaic law, the one caught adultery, a little bit of, you know, one little bit, it was still sin, sin is sin. It meant death. Okay? David, the bleeding of the sheep, when God told him to, to, to not take anything, some people did, they hid, they hid the silver underneath their tents. There was sin in the camp death to them and their families. You know, the little, the little bit of ungratefulness in the hearts of the people, when it, when it rained manna from heaven, they had to have something else. It meant death. What I'm telling you is we're gonna miss the mark, guys. And it's for every one of us. There's no difference, big, small, great. I don't care what you think your role is or not, whether you even care about a role or don't, your position in the church or whatever. There's a bunch of nonsense in that anyhow. We're all the same guys. I got to do it the same as you. I don't get it. I don't get a free pass. Grace is grace for everyone. Gentiles, Jews, black, white, green, Man, woman, the whole enchilada, guys.
So let's not miss it over bickering and arguing with each other. Bring it to the Lord in prayer. That's what I'm saying. That's what my whole message is about. The direction. Bring it to the Lord in prayer. And get his direction. I'm not going to tell this story. I'll tell it another time. Because it's, you know, it's a natural thing. But funny. But I'll tell it another time. About direction. Our lack of not following direction. But, guys, the Lord is giving us divine, holy Ghost inspired direction. But he won't give it to you if you're not listening in the spirit. He that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit saying out of the church. Guys and gals, it's time that we come to the cross and through the cross. And you're not going to find it. On all the social media garbage for one, on the news for the other, in the world for the other, in entertainment, and it, it, man, it's just not there, guys. It's not even in the church, honestly. But people slap a label on their on the on on stuff and call it a church. So far, some of them are so far off. Some of them are just a little bit, just enough to just deviate you to miss. Mark, the high calling. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. So, I could go on, but I'm not. I want this to be a short message. So, we love you guys. Um, I'm going to get some more out tomorrow. Sorry for the kind of dismal display in the back. Um, I wasn't going to do this tonight, but I needed to. So, yeah, we love you guys. There must be a reason, a purpose, I'm sure beyond me. So we love you guys. Let's not miss the mark. Stay on his perfect path. We all have to. Love you guys.